Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. I'm Steven Silver, character designer and teacher, dedicated to helping you learn about the art industry and living up to your potential. Whippee! All right, welcome to another Monday morning art talk. So for those of you guys watching this on YouTube, you can see I am wearing a Danny Phantom shirt after all these years, finally. I don't know why they're making merchandise now. I've just made some shirts and I got it through Kohl's. And this is cool because this is the logo I designed for Danny Phantom. I remember when I was working on the show and it came down, Danny never used to have a logo. And it came down to us that, hey, the executives want uh, Danny Phantom to now have a logo, you know, like all the superheroes and everything. So it was up to me and um, Ben Balistrieri to sit there. We were working on the show, designing, and uh, just to come up with the logos and present them all to Butch. And uh, this is the one uh, that Butch picked that he liked that ended up the network light. So it was just uh, Danny Phantom, right, as as the little ghost thing. And I remember having just so many different variations. Again, just the trial and error of trying to think of new things. How, how do we make this logo? What could it be going back and forth, trying to tie the ghost aspect into it? So after all these years, finally, I got a Danny Phantom shirt. Really cool. All right. So today's topic, what I want to talk about it is that you are good enough. You are worth it. Okay. This is, this is an important thing because I see with my kids today, they're in high school, 10th grade and uh, senior and 12th grade. I see when I'm watching just interviews or I'm watching just uh, talent shows and the constant aspect of people just not feeling like they're, they're good enough. There was this documentary I watched. It was, I believe on Hulu called a jawline, you know, like your jaw, and then it's called jawline, and it's following these two, these people about trying to get noticed on social media, these young kids trying to get famous, and the constant thing over and over again, this epidemic that's happened in this world, especially with just younger generation, you know, I'm in my uh, four, late 40s, 47, and just uh, people who are, I don't know, 30 and years old and younger, really, maybe 35 and younger, that I'm just sort of seeing and hearing all the time, this constant, I'm just not going to do it, I'm not even going to try because I just don't feel like I'm good enough, that I'm, I'm worth it, that anyone's going to care. And this is this, whatever this is, is stopping people from fulfilling what it is that they want to just do. And it's, it's really a sad state of affairs when I watch it and especially the talent competitions with people singing and go, I never tried, I ripped up my just audition thing because I've been told by this person or that person that I'm not good enough. And so people are just relying on thoughts of what other people have told them and that, that seed has creeped into their head Otherwise, it's the constant comparison. You're comparing yourself with other people. And the famous Wallace Waddle setting was, don't be competitive, be creative. And this is really the way out of it. This is the way out of, of thinking that you're just not good enough. It's just like, stop trying to compare yourself to other people. So I don't have to look at someone else and go, you know what? That guy is so much better than me. Um, that artist is so much better than me. I'm not even going to try because I know how good they are. Instead, it's like, I appreciate how good they are. I can learn from that person, but also I got just new things that I, I want to do. I want to try something different and try to forge my own path. And, and, and if we didn't have this ability, if people didn't, believe in themselves, because of course there's believers in this world and people who take the initiative and do stuff. We wouldn't have all the merchandise we have. We wouldn't have all the book authors and illustrators that we have. We wouldn't have this abundance of variety of styles and different artists if from, from the, the masters or just the fine artists and painters from uh, whoever it may be, you know, an impressionist and go, what well, that person ended up doing something different and eventually forged a name for themselves doing their own specific thing. But the bottom line is, is you are good enough. And I would just want to tell you that you're good enough. You're worth it. You're worth the try. 
You're worth giving it just the old college try and just seeing what can come up from your ideas. And even if it fails, again, just if you can just get rid of that idea of failure, because this is the thing that just stop people in their tracks from even trying. Again, not feeling worthy, feeling like, what are people going to say? What are people going to do? How are they going to react? Oh my God, I wasn't noticed. I didn't get a reward. You know, it's just, it's irrelevant. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And that's what you just truly got to understand along this journey is that it's going to be, this is your book. You get your own book. The minute you were born, you were handed a book of life. And that book of life is just, it's not written, it's within you. That book of life consists of your brain. That book of life consists of your heart and your lungs and your blood and your veins and your mind, just everything. That's your book of life. And it's up to you to determine for yourself, how do I want my chapters to be written? And again, I don't want you to get stuck on the fact that maybe you're not doing what it is that you really want to do right now. Just knowing that piece by piece, you can start as long as you're building that towards that picture, that puzzled picture, you're going to start achieving those things. It's, it's a timing game. And that's what you got to understand. So it's really just the, the effort and energy that you're putting into something. And that's where the fulfillment comes in. The fulfillment comes in when you start to, you'll start to realize that even though you may not have that goal in mind, that you haven't accomplished that goal, you're not sitting in that place where you envision yourself sitting or being, you're not there yet. The mere fact that you're making steps to get towards there, if you're doing it with the right mindset as, hey, I'm working on this piece at a time, piece by piece to get me to where I want to go. That's going to start to become fulfilling. That's where the joy is going to start coming from instead of the being stripped from our joy, stripped from this energy and this enthusiasm that we're entitled to, that we're allowed to have because we see it only as only when these moments happen. Only if I get my, my, my movie gets accepted and it gets nominated, that's when I'm going to be happy. Only if I get that job, that's, that's when I'm going to allow myself to be happy. Only if this certain specific thing lines up and that client gets in touch with me and this actual thing goes through, that's when I'm going to be happy. And then you realize, and again, this is what you got to keep realizing and thinking about what you've already gone through in your life. Every time you have accomplished those little minor goals, those little things that you've set for yourself, whether it's buying a car, finding the right apartment, buying a house, writing the right relationship, whatever it is, those moments at those moments are joyous for those moments. And then what happens, it just starts to fade away. Okay, I got my car. It was awesome when I first got it. I was so excited. And now it becomes a part of who you are. It's your everyday existence. It's almost like we're just like this robot or this machine that is keep putting and we keep building. We never stop building. And we're building on our brain. We're building on our mind. And that's what we're grabbing. These are all the little things that are zip, 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 zip. All these little instances that keep coming our way and keep connecting us like a magnet. And this is making us who we eventually are. It's going to determine how we interact with people. It's going to determine how determined we are in our lives. It's going to determine how much effort we're willing to put into things, how often we want to practice on elements, whatever it may be. These are all the things that come into play through your life. But the most important thing that you can do is just try and just do that and stop and know that you are good enough. Know that you are worthy of attempting. If anything, just you're worthy of attempting to try something. You're worthy of giving it a shot. You're worthy of just dodging that bullet or just getting just laid out flat. You are worthy of like giving it that try because through this, you're not going to be holding on to these regrets and these things. And that's what gives me excitement and joy in my life. Besides, you know, if there's any sort of daily occurrence or something I'm having an issue with, my kids are going through something, whatnot, just daily stuff. Regardless of any of that information, I know if I'm working towards something, um, because I'm working on so many different things, and that's just part of who I am. That's what makes me who I am. And I'm telling you, so many things that I've tried, they just go nowhere. But it's me that what fills me and gives me the joy and the passion and the excitement of just life and how I can even have any sort of energy 
is because I know I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to see what happens. And I get this thing and it's, and I've, and I've said it before by being naive and not knowing all the facts and knowing everything before I get involved in something can sometimes be a, a blessing of some sort because it's just like, I don't know, I'm going to try. See what, okay, it didn't work. All right, well, let me try that. Let me do this. Let me do that. And again, it's having that attitude. These are the things that are going to fill up the moments of your life. These little moments, just piece by piece, are going to be what are making you decide whether you want to be happy because you you get, you get have to make that choice. I don't know who said it, but um, this guy, oh my God, I'm not even going to try to remember, um, but he just, what did he say? Just like, uh, and, and it's a known thing. It's not like maybe he even coined it or anything. It's just like a lot of people say it, but it's just like you have, in order to be happy, you have to make yourself feel happy in order to be happy. You got to act happy in order to be happy. So that's the sort of thing. You're not just going to be happy without if you, if you don't allow that to happen. So by me acting joyous about something, that's what's going to bring the joy. So that's something that you just kind of really want to think about, like go into it with that enthusiasm. And that's why you want to start on your own projects. And for all of those of you guys who are working jobs, which are eating up all your time and you don't have this, I'm, I'm telling you, there's ways, there, there's time in the day. There really is. It's like, are you truly, you got to ask yourself, are you truly using your time to the most effective and efficient way possible. And only you know that. You know if you're getting up, you're complaining you don't have enough time, but you don't roll out of bed till 11 o'clock in the afternoon, right? So you know that all these, whatever those situations you may be, you know that maybe you're spending way too much time on social media when you should be working on your own stuff. You know that you're the one who's making excuses about not doing something or starting. It's only you know. So you got to determine for yourself, do I have those moments in time? Do I have that time? Where can I start organizing things just a little bit more and start making the things that I want to have happen because I am worthy and I am deserving of the try that I'm going to do it. And that's what I want you guys to come away with this from is just, just, just do it. I don't care. Just do it. Just try it. It's even if it's reaching out and contacting someone, that person that you're nervous to contact, that person you're, you're afraid to speak to, that, that thing you're afraid to say, just, just do it. Just say it and see the sort of freedom and joy that it can bring you just by giving yourself and allowing yourself to be a free bird on this planet. That you were lucky enough to be a free Roman bird. You get to decide 99.9% .9 of the time where you want to live, where you want to go, where you want to be, where you want to work. You know, yeah, I, I can say, oh, I want to work at Disney, but it doesn't guarantee you're going to do that. But you can say, hey, I want to work at a grocery store and I'm guarantee you can find a job at a grocery store. Some things require a little bit more skill. Right. So in order to acquire those jobs, you've got to have the skill set. Let's not lie about this. We've got to be real, but we got to know that, you know what, that's my goal. That's I'm, I'm sick of looking at other people's work and making myself believe that I'm not worthy of doing this. Because, again, it's going to fall into the timing aspect and trying. And I think if you have that positive attitude about it. What happens is you start putting it out there more. You start talking about it in a positive way and not like, yeah, nothing ever happens. I tried and this and that. So that's all anyone's ever hearing. It's just like you complaining about it or you yourself not believing in it. But what if you just start saying, hey, yeah, man, I'm working towards a portfolio for designing, to be a character designer in the animation industry for the television and streaming. That's what I really want to do. So I'm just, I'm, 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 whether you're enrolling in courses, whether I'm, I'm observing more, I'm going and sketching in my book a lot more. I'm, I'm really trying to formulate something. I'm trying to really learn things. I'm trying to just research as much as I can and keep acquiring information and keep putting stuff out. That's what you do. That's what moves you from one section to the next as you keep acquiring more and more knowledge and this magnet of who you are, your storybook, because this is you and it's up to you to make that effort and decision. All right. So that's it. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks again for watching and I wish you all the best and uh, take care. To learn more about my Skype mentorships and workshops, please visit silvertoons.com. And if you like, sign up for my mailing list where you'll be notified of any upcoming workshops or events. 
Thanks so much for listening, and I'll talk to you next week.